Now that we are back, welcome back to some more Stormworks. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today we are going to be moving into some more composite values. And this stuff is going to be the advanced composite values, I'm going to say. Or it is one example of a very advanced composite system. Basically, what we've got here is a system that um, MRN Jersey actually designed. I have my own version that I customized for my two train engines here, but he built the base system for this. And basically what it's able to do is to control both of these engines here. But the really cool thing about this system is that we have this um, switch button right here. So whenever we click that switch button, we can, can change which um, engine is controlling the throttle, the clutch, and everything else. And I actually do only have three values running through here. We have our throttle, the start value and the clutch. I'm going to show you that this all fires up here real quick. We have all four motors running now between the two trains and then we can give it some power after we take off the brakes here. And at the moment the um, engine one is actually controlling both engines on both sides. I just combined the, the clutch and the throttle for both sides here as well as the, um, the engine start. But yeah, now we are going pretty quick, 78, 79, probably going to hit 80 right here with these two engines. And now if I shut this off real quick here and turn off our throttle, I can go over and click this button real quick. Then once we go over to the other engine, we will have complete control once we click off this switch button here. And we can jump back into this seat. Throwing our throttle up yet again. And starting both of the train engines up. Giving them a already at max throttle. And giving it a bit of clutch to get going here as well. And that is the basics of the system. It works pretty well actually. There aren't really any glitches into it. And of course you can send more values back and receive values on different channels through the composite values. This isn't... I'm, this isn't messing up anything, sending back and forth the different values between carts behind these engines. But yeah, so we are going to go and jump into the workshop to build this system now. So I'll meet you guys over there. Alright guys, here is how your composite is actually going to be set up on your train. Since we are able to put three um, engines into this system... Um, I don't know if that's a max, but I know it can take at least three engines in here. I haven't tested more or less. Maybe I will get to that near the end of the video. But all we need are two inputs coming from each side and one output running to both sides here for it. And this looks like this in the logic. And um, before you click off the video, I am going to start from scratch. So um, just stick with me here. We're going to call it... Um, a multi-engine control with the switch here and now we're gonna jump over to logic after we make it a 5x2 here we're gonna need those three composite values here running between everything and two of them are going to be in inputs that we can name input 1 and 2 and one's going to be that output running to both sides now we need six values in here and we're going to be running two numbers. So we need to do numbers twice and one on off. So we have two on offs. So you basically just have to double the amount that you want. If you want, say you want five numbers and two on offs, you need 10 numbers and four on offs for this system to work. And actually we're gonna have to change the inputs and outputs because we have a number input here, which is gonna be our throttle our clutch and the on off is going to be our starter for the engines we're also going to have outputs down here for the throttle the clutch and the starter as well and we need to make these two outputs here. And we're also going to need a one more button in the system. It's going to be an input. And all we're going to call it is switch. And if anyone was wondering, you have to click the switch button. And then the other cart has control of it. So now we can move all of our values out. So that we have 
control of everything or we have at least room on the microprocessor for this so now we're going to be jumping into the logic and we're going to put our switch up here our three output values running up here we're going to put our three inputs over to the left here with a bit of space in between them our output up here and our two inputs down on here and the first thing we're going to need to do for this system is we're going to have to read a couple numbers from here from each side as well as some on off values now that we've got that done i'm going to move that up one so it looks nice and neat actually one more so we have a little bit of space between everything and now all we need to do is connect up the values here to each side and we're gonna have to run so we've got our throttle i'm gonna put the throttle on our first um channel here so number one and number one is going to be throttle number two is going to be our clutch control and our number three over here is going to be the um the starter for our motor and what this is doing is it's taking inputs from both sides so it's looking for which side is sending values to the entire system and it's telling the system that this side or this input is running the train or if it is the one train we're in it's sending the values straight to the output but we need to do a bit more logic before we get there to actually get the values from this we're gonna have to put in two ands here and an or value as well and we're going to be connecting up both sides to these so the third channel with our on offs to the or our second channel to the same and and our first channel to the same and as well now we can make that there's no exact spacing for that or maybe that's it and then we're going to start working on our next system over here we're going to have to put a NOT value up on our switch here because that will come in handy a little bit later for the on off value here. And now for our um, numerical values here we're going to need two numerical switch boxes here connecting up the um, numerical inputs for throttle and clutch up to that OFF value on both of these. And we're going to want to connect the um, switch here to the switch right there and now we're gonna take the other side and connect it up to the respective ands on the correct channel that being so one is on that and going over to our throttle and we have our throttle running on the first channel here clutch is on our second channel so two two going to that and over to this numerical switch box and for our lone starter our only on off value here we're gonna need two and values and an or value as well to run this and it is a crazy system here where we're gonna have to connect the starter up to the and and then the and other side up to our not value here and then the next and we're gonna want to connect our a up to the switch up here and the other side up to this or over here and now we're going to want to connect this, the output for this one, up to the OR. And the output for our second AND up to this OR. And now this output, these three outputs, I'm actually going to switch these over so we have the same like piling as throttle clutch starter from down here up here. We can connect the throttle up to the output from here. The clutch up to the output from there and the starter to the output of here. So now we've got the system where it comes in and if it's not the one that switched, the switch is turned on, then the values will just run to our output. But if it's switched on, it's going to be reading values from over here through there. But if it's if other trains are switched off, then it needs to read the values from these guys being sent into here. And so this guy is actually gonna have to send values out to the other trains if this is the one with the switch off. So we're going to have to do a couple writes in between all of this as well. Two writes to be exact and an on off write down here as well. And we're going to want to connect up the values from this guy, our throttle, our clutch, and our on off value here. And now for the composite we're going to have to connect the zigzagging lines up to all these guys to the output up here. And the final thing we need to do is make sure our throttle is running to our first channel, our composite 
or excuse me, the clutch value is running to our second channel. And our on off or the starter for the engine is running to the third channel here. And that is the complete system we've got here. This should be able to switch control for your engine. So I'm going to go up and save it. And I'm just going to save over the multi control engine that I had from earlier. So, and now we can go and connect this up to our train here. And we're going to have to go down and find the multi control, wherever it is. That took a little bit while. And now we can replace our old one with the new one we've got here. And we're going to have to connect up a couple values. So one's going to be going to the front of the train. Two is going to be going to the back. It actually really doesn't matter which number goes to the front or the back, just that you have both sides connected. And then this output is going to both connectors here, so you can have multiple engines being run off of it. As well, we're going to have to connect up a bit of data here from the microprocessor. So the switch button, oh, excuse me, the throttle for this is going to run to our throttle on the roof here. That needs to be the input for the throttle. And then the input for the clutch is going to run to our clutch down here. And our switch value is going to have to run to the switch there. As well as our starter value is going to run to our starter on the right here. As well, we need to connect up the outputs. So the starter is going to go to each side of the engines. Our throttle is going to go to the engines as well. And then our clutch output is going to go to the clutch on each side. And that is the basic system. Let me make sure I connected up the switches up. Starters, clutches connected. Looks like we have everything we need connected, I believe. And we should be able to save this up. Saving this as our multi control engine. And we'll put switch in brackets. We actually can't use brackets or anything in the name. So we'll just put switch at the end of the name, save it up. And we can spawn two of these trains in and see this system working perfectly. All right, we've got the two engines connected here. And now that is all set up, we can go to our driver's seat, throw the throttle up. Oh, I just forgot to click that switch button in the back so that the front has full control over everything. Let's switch the switch button on over here and we can run over to the other side and control everything we need to for both engines. So we already have our throttle all the way up. We can turn on both engines and we're going to have to release the brakes and then set off. And there we go, both engines are running in tandem for maximum cart pulling power. And so yeah, that is the dual engine. I'm actually going to test out how many engines we can get in the system real quick now, but that is the end of the tutorial. It is me just messing around now. So I'm gonna take this back to the workshop real quick and I'm gonna see if I can actually get four of these engines connected up and run it from one of the engines here. Because I actually am curious myself if this system works or not. So once I'm done spawning in all the engines and connecting them up, I will bring you guys back in. Alright, we have the final test of all four engines here. I'm going to start up the engines. Actually giving them a little bit less throttle. So they don't overheat, hopefully. We got that one running. Let's give it a little bit less throttle, like 20%. I don't know why some of these are still clicking, but it looks like we got all four of them running somehow. I think it's something with the logic that's sending it back and forth between four carts, but I know if we give it a bit more gas and then put the clutch in here, it seems to stop all of them from uh, clicking for some reason. And this thing goes pretty quickly. I'm surprised. We're getting 70. I doubt it's going to hit 100, but I mean, if you need to pull trains with this thing, it's definitely capable. 
I mean, it's definitely capable of three engines here, let alone you needing four for something. I don't know what you would need for four, but there is a four cart system working perfectly. So, yeah. Of course, if you guys do have any questions, problems with the composite values, you can, of course, find me on my Discord or in the comments for this video down below. I'm always um, eager to help you guys. Uh, help as much as I can but of course if you guys did like this please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with storm rights and more of my content but I've never got goodbyes so my people need me and I need to go fix this frame rate issues